This is a quick introduction to the live stream that we're gonna be doing on Saturday the 18th of March at 3 p.m. UK time. The topic of the live stream is going to be how to deploy a Django app using Kubernetes. It's a really popular topic that everyone asked for, so we're finally gonna cover it in this live stream. We're actually gonna be splitting up the live stream into two different live streams because there's a lot of topics to cover. This is what we're gonna cover in the first live stream. We're gonna cover how to use a tool called Minikube, which is a really cool tool that allows you to spin up a Kubernetes cluster to play around with on your local machine without having to pay any cloud fees. We're gonna learn how to deploy a Django app to Kubernetes locally and how to configure your app to do all of the things that a modern web app needs to do. We're gonna include how to set up a Postgres database. We'll also cover how to manage static files, which are the files that Django creates and needs to serve things like CSS and images. And we're gonna learn how to configure it to support media files. This is something that always trips people up because it's a little bit complicated, but we're gonna cover how to do that in Kubernetes. So your users will be able to upload files such as images, and you'll be able to serve them using your deployed application. And we're also gonna, of course, set up the Django admin, which is a very popular feature of Django that everyone likes to set up on their project. The specific topics that we're going to cover in our Kubernetes deployment are how to use the Kubernetes dashboard. So we'll play around with the dashboard, we'll see it in action. We're going to learn how to use pods via deployments. So we'll set up something called a Kubernetes deployment that will manage our Kubernetes pods and we'll cover what all of this terminology means in the live stream. We'll also learn how to provision persistent volumes so that you can store the data for your application persistently. Finally, we'll also use services which will allow you to access the application through the browser. So here's a quick diagram of what we're gonna be creating. So we'll have our local Kubernetes cluster set up using Minikube. This will include a control plane which will allow us to manage the different nodes that will be created on our machine. And we're gonna be setting up three different nodes. So just a simple deployment with three different nodes. And nodes are basically the computers that are running on Kubernetes. So we'll have three local nodes set up and we're gonna install Django. We're gonna use Nginx as a reverse proxy and also Postgres to store our data. Finally, we'll also have our volume set up so that you can learn how to store persistent volume from these applications. Now, the actual deployment might look slightly different from this diagram because we're going to have Nginx and Django on the same pod. However, it's roughly like this. This is the rough setup and the applications that we'll be learning how to deploy. So in the second live stream, which will happen after this first live stream, we're going to cover how you can actually deploy this to a real cloud service. So the reason we're splitting it up like this is because there's quite a lot of topics to cover and it might be a push to be able to cover them all in the detail that we need to cover them in one single stream. So we're gonna split it up into two different streams. So in the first one, we can cover all of the basic concepts and things like how Kubernetes works, how you deploy an app to Kubernetes. And then in the second stream, we can learn how to do it to a cloud platform. But there is an ask for you, we're gonna ask you which cloud platform you would like to see us deploy it to in the second stream. So when we do this first live stream, we're gonna have a quick survey that you can fill out so we can decide which platform we're going to deploy our application to in the second live stream. And we'll confirm the date of the second live stream later on. That's everything we're gonna to cover to prepare for this first live stream. The only thing we ask is that you download our sample project. You can find a link to it in the description of this video. It's on our GitHub page, London App Developer, and the project is called Django Poster Demo App. It's a simple Django app that we're gonna be deploying. It's actually the app that we created in the first live stream which was how to deploy to LightSail. But if you didn't have the opportunity to join that or you didn't save the code that you created in it, then we have provided a starter template project that we're gonna be deploying on Kubernetes. And this will help us save a lot of time because we don't need to spend an hour or so creating our Django project. We'll just start with this basic template project. And you're also gonna to wanna to have Minikube installed. So we'll link in the description of this video where you can find the installation guide for Minikube once it's installed and running on your local machine, you can run Minikube version, and that will tell you the version of Minikube that you have installed, and then you should be ready to go on the live stream on the 
Saturday the 18th of March at 3 p.m. So that's everything you need to do and that's everything we're gonna be covering. I look forward to seeing you on Saturday the 18th of March at 3 p.m. UK time. If you have any questions in advance, then please feel free to put them in the comments of this video and we'll try and get back to you before the stream.